Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show some more examples of arithmetic sequences. Let's start with the first one. It wants us to find the nth term and then to find the twelfth term. So the nth term means to find the formula, so we want a n. To find a n, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find d. We have a plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So the common difference is 4. And then what we need to do is we need to just write the first term down. The first one is 12 plus, and then we put n minus 1 because that's the formula. If you forgot about the formula, then let's just check and see what would happen if you just put an n here. If you just put regular n, then when we do this first number, This is a1. When, we, when we're solving for a1, we know that the answer should be 12, but if we're using the formula to get that, then that would say that we do 12 plus 1 times 4. Because we're finding a1, that's the first term, that means that n is equal to 1 for that situation. And if we do 12 plus 4, that gives us 16, which is not the actual answer. So that's how we would know n is not good, we need to put n minus 1 for the formula for the nth term. Now we're going to use this to find a12. a12 is 12 plus 12 minus 1 times 4. That's 12 plus 11 times 4, which is 12 plus 44 and that would be equal to 56. A12 is 56. Oh, I think we're supposed to use, technically, you use a lowercase a for sequences, not uppercase a's. So let's change that. Because an uppercase a is normally used for area, lowercase a is used for sequences. And this next one, number two, we have a minus four, then we have a minus four-fifths, and then it changes from there. So that is not arithmetic. No common difference. If we look at number five, that's a minus 11. Minus 11. That means that d equals negative 11. Let's make a formula for this. a n equals you write the first number, then plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 11. In the formula for sequences, it's like the only time you put the variable first, this n minus 1. Almost always in algebra and in math, you'll put the variable after the coefficient. But for this formula, you put n minus 1 first. Now let's use that to find the a8. That'd be negative 4 plus 8 minus 1 times negative 11, which is negative 4 plus 7 times negative 11, which is negative 4 minus, because that 11 is negative, um, 7 times 11 is 77. So negative 4 and negative 77 together make negative 81. So A8 equals negative 81. Pretty easy. Let's just do, let's do another one like this, another arithmetic, but I'm going to answer it as a um, recursive formula. So a recursive formula is instead of writing the first term in there, you just pick a random number and you go from there. So from like two to three halves, that's gonna be a minus one half, minus one half, d equals minus one half, or negative one half, that's the common difference. Then in the formula, a n will equal a n minus one, 
this means the next number will equal the previous number plus d. So this would be plus negative one half, which really just means minus one half, because a positive with the negative combined to make it just a, a negative. So there's the recursive formula version of this. There is one more way that you can see these formulas, and it's just a little change in notation. And I'll show that on a different example. This one has minus 8 for d. So instead of writing a n equals a n minus 1 minus 8, Another way that you could see this answer is fn equals fn minus 1 minus 8. This is just a different notation, but it means the same exact thing. It's just instead of calling them a's for the sequences, you're calling it f's, which is similar to functions, which is what we're going to talk about next class.